Meet the Ford ZTech Row Cam engine known elsewhere as DuraTech. It is cheap, small, and has an impressive torque for its size and power. Everybody raves about it, but the owner complains that the engine loses power when this car is climbing up a hill. So I volunteered to have a look. One thing I noticed is that when you rev up the engine it vibrates a lot. This can be an indication that the problem might have to do with the spark plug not firing properly. But before I could check the spark plug wires, which is one of the first things you do in this case, I noticed a rhythmic snapping sound synchronized with the vibrations. Looking closely I could see a spark coming out of the ignition coil. So I decided to remove it and see what is going on. And here we have it. It is made by Bosch in Germany. The date code apparently says 2010 June the 22nd. FOMOCA stands for Ford Motor Company. You can see it is encased in what appears to be a Bakelite can, potted with epoxy. This close-up photo shows discoloration marks left by the spark, and what appears to be a hole on the insulation. This coil is not in fact one coil, but two double-ended coils. They are controlled by the ECU, electronic control unit. It is merely a high-voltage step-up transformer. What caused this leakage? It turns out that near the coil goes a hose from the thermostat housing to the heater valve. To relieve the strain on the hose coupling they designed a steel support. They placed the support that goes attached to the engine block, which happens to be electrically connected to the ground of the entire car, unbelievably close to one of the high-voltage terminals. They had to resort to a solution like that because of their decision to use plastic as the thermostat housing. Their worries were not unjustified. The coupling of this same hose on the other end of the heater valve, which is also made of plastic, and for which they had not devised a strain relief, broke off a little later. In solving one problem, they created a couple more. This car has a variable spark voltage. When the ECU detects that the engine has a demand for extra fuel intake, for instance when driving up a hill, it raises the voltage which can get as high as 40 kV. When a metallic object connected to the ground is placed at a distance beneath the appropriate clearance, this voltage is enough to produce a dielectric breakdown. With successive breakdowns the insulation is eventually destroyed, and even carbonized, providing a conductive path. In these photos it is possible to see how close the support is from the coil terminal. Less than one centimeter. You can see where the leaked spark strikes. So, no wonder the engine was losing power. The spark, instead of taking place inside the combustion chamber, was firing the air. After testing the ignition coil for continuity and unwanted short circuits, I realized it would be worthwhile to repair the insulation with epoxy and install it back again on the engine and see if it all works. Apparently, yes, it does. No leakage. As for the support, one of the solutions is do away with it by using an aluminum replacement for the thermostat housing which happens to be available in the aftermarket. You don't need to be Einstein to deduce why. Or design a new support with the appropriate clearance. I will leave that for the owner to decide. Thanks for watching. Have a good night and stay beautiful.